Alright, we on. Alright, Shalom Israel. Shalom. Back with another GMS on the go. This is the North Raleigh, North Carolina camp. Before we go any further, we want to give all honor, glory, and praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Next up, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Mm -hmm. We've been teaching us this 100% truth of the Bible. Uh -huh. And a double Shalom to all the sincere Akim start the four corners of the earth. Pushing this truth in righteousness and sincerity to the best of your abilities. And we're going to dive right into it. This First, is, oh, it's locking. Yeah, you good. This is the book of Amos, chapter 5, verse 14. Seek good and not evil. Right, the scripture says, seek good and not evil. And what's the good that you're supposed to be seeking? You're supposed to be seeking the wisdom, knowledge, understanding of the, um, the Bible, you know, the 1611 King James Bible. You know, we're supposed to keep the law, statute, commandments of the Bible to the best of our abilities. Mm -hmm. Which you already know, the only ones who's going to do that is the hopeful elect. Read it, start Can I say something? Go ahead. Yeah, how you do that? You seek good by um, seeking the men of the Lord that Yahweh by Shema Shai set up, you know? Starting with the Apostle, the Great Millstone, who's teaching you the good. Okay. Okay. Read that from the top again. Read that top. Yeah. This is the book of Amos, chapter 5, verse 14. Uh, seek good and not evil. Mm -hmm. That ye may live. And he said, not and he, so like he said, seek good and not evil. And we're, we're not supposed to see evil. And what's the evil? The ways of this world. Um such as um these pagan holidays, celebrating Christmas, Thanksgiving, New Year's, Fourth of July, your birthday. Um transgressing the law. So like that's trans which is transgressing the law. Mm -hmm. We're not supposed to be um eating all these abominable foods such as shrimp, pork, crab, lobster. Mm -hmm. We're not supposed to be worshiping all these false gods who are no gods. Such as Caesar Borgia, Allah, Buddha, the who got the Hindu got a Shiva, Santa Maria. Mm -hmm. We're not supposed to be super the next man's wife, vice versa. That's right. You know, so the scripture says seek good and not evil. We're not supposed to be seeking out the evil. Everything that I just named, we're supposed to be seeking good, the wisdom, knowledge, understanding of the scriptures. And mm -hmm. keeping them to the best of our ability, the laws. And so the Lord, the and the most high of hosts. Now read that again. Uh, and even and ye, and ye may live. So the mo so the yeah, most high Yahweh. Saw here. Start from the top and read it. This is the book of Amos, chapter five, verse fourteen. Seek good and not evil, that ye may live. That ye may live, you know. Seek good, and like the brother said, you seek you seek the um, you seek the most high by his men that accept on highways and byways. So you seek them, so you can get the knowledge of the scriptures, so that you can live, you know. So. Once they teach you the um, once they teach you the word, you know, and um, what to do and not and what not to do according to the scriptures, you can practice in your everyday life so you, you, that you can live, so the most I can have favor in you, so that you can live and ultimately be delivered. Be, when America come to um, when America get destroyed, mm -hmm. Lord's will, Lord's will will be some of those men. The hopeful elect, Lord's will be some of those men. Mm -hmm. And so Yahweh and the power of hosts shall be with you. Right. So Yahweh is the word only calls God. Who's the Heavenly Father, who's a so-called black man, may may be with you. Mm -hmm. Which yep. which is the hopeful elect. Lord's will, once again, will be some of those men. Start with the possible other great Muslim to the men on down. As ye have spoken. As ye have spoken. God, um, it said that the most high be with you, you know. You know, when all hell is breaking loose if you're seeking good, Yahweh by Shema Shai is gonna be with you because you haven't broken the law statute commandments of the Bible, you've been keeping them to the best of your abilities. You know, you've been diligent in his word. You know, so when all hell would break loose, child, by Shema Shai, Lord's will and have mercy upon us. That's right. That's right. Verse read, the last, read that last part again. Uh, shall be with you as ye have spoken. Come on, all right, go ahead. Hate the evil. Right, hate the evil. And like we just said, in the first scripture, it says, see good and not evil. So we're supposed to hate the evil. And what's the evil? Once again, the ways of this world. We're supposed to hate everything that... We're supposed to hate everything that this world pushes at us and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, and love the good. And love the good. What's, what's the good? The laws that you come into the Bible. The wisdom and understanding of the scriptures. We're supposed to love that. We're supposed to keep them to the best of our abilities. Day in and day out. And establish judgment in the gate. Right. And we're supposed to establish, so like we're supposed to establish judgment in the gate. We're supposed to go out there on the highways and byways and rebuke. Two thirds of our own people, and tell these other nations that they're going into slavery, and tell them they can't, that the kingdom is coming to an end. So we're supposed to go out there on the highways and byways and establish judgment. That's right. Mm -hmm. It may it may be that the Yahweh of hosts will be gracious unto the remnant of Joseph. Right. It should. Be, so I can read that one more time. It may be that Yahweh, the power of hosts, 
will be gracious unto the remnant of Joseph. It may be that Yahweh, once again, what's the word? And it calls God, who's a so-called black man whose name is Yahweh, may be gracious unto the remnant of the house of Joseph. And that remnant is talking about the hopeful elect. Talking about the elect. Right, the elect. He's going to be gracious unto the elect. Lord's will be some of men. Yep, can I show me? Kind like, of um, nah, that's it. But, um, like, I, like you were saying, you know, that the Most High be gracious unto the remnant of Joseph, you know, that the Most High is going to have mercy upon you for seeking that good, you know, and hating the evil. Because mm -hmm. Yahweh Shema Shai has, has set his chosen people, which consists of these so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American. To naturally, you're supposed to naturally hate evil, you know, and love the good, mm -hmm. you know. But right now, we know that only the elect is gonna love that which is good unto the heavenly Father. But um, you want that Psalms ninety seven? Yeah. What's the other ones? Uh, and um. Yeah. What's the other scriptures? This is, this is Psalms chapter ninety seven, verse ten. And it reads, Ye that love the Lord hate evil. Right, the most I said, Ye that love the Lord hate evil. And somebody get what love is real quick. Okay. Right. You know, in the it said, Ye that love the Lord hate evil. So, Lord, of course, you know, people come, you got hate in your heart, you know? People come up, say, they come up scoffing, say, You got hate in your heart. Yeah, we got righteous hate, you know? We got, we got the hatred of the most high. We hate. What the Most High hates, you know, which is evilness. Kind. That's right. I got a precept for that, too. That's it is. This is the book of uh, 1 John, chapter 5, verse 3. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For this is the love of the Most High, mm -hmm. that we keep his commandments. So love is that we keep the Most High's commandments. And his commandments are not grievous. And his commandments are not grievous. So it shouldn't grieve you to keep the Most High's commandments. Which we are, but it's going to grieve two thirds of you so-called black side the Americans. But it's not going to grieve the um, hopeful elect. Lord's will be some of the men. So that's what love is. Love is to keep the Most High's commandments. So um, going back to the other scripture again, Psalm 97. What verse say, uh, precept? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, one of the, uh, I was going to say, uh, one of the uh, precepts for uh, grievous is burdensome. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It should be a burden unto you to keep the Most High's commandments okay. to the best of your ability, you know? Okay. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah, like the hate part, I got you. You want Psalms 139? Is that it? Oh, go back to Psalm 97. This is Psalm 97, verse 10. Ye that love the Lord hate evil. So once again, ye that love the Lord is going to hate evil. And we just proved that love is keeping the most high's commandment. So it's a commandment that you hate evil. Yep, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Um, I'm going to read that again. Ye that love the Lord hate evil. Go in some things that are evil. And some of the things that are evil are um, celebrating all these pagan holidays. Like we said earlier, it's on um, celebrating Christmas, um, Thanksgiving, Easter, Fourth of July, your mm -hmm. birthday, your mama birthday, um, Valentine's Day, which was which recently just passed, and our people are all into it. Mm -hmm. um, getting line up, beard. getting lineups, bald heads, tattoos all over your face. Shaving your beard, yeah, exactly. Getting the bald, you can't you can't trust the bald headed nigga, yo. That's right. Exactly. <laughs> it says, "Ye that love the Lord hate evil." He preserveth the souls of his saints. Right, and the Most High preserveth the souls of his saints. He's gonna, he's gonna save his, his, his elect. Wait, is that talking about Mother Teresa? You know, Saint Mary? No, nah, it's talking about the hopeful elect. All right, I'm gonna get what who the saints are. Mm -hmm. It says Psalms 148 verse 14. He. Also